So weeks after news broke that Fadjo was sent out of his penthouse apartment for lack of payment. And I remember the guy was, uh, the news said that the guy was owing 40,000 rands in rent. And that's the reason why the landlord and the people in charge of the apartment chased him out. But during the podcast and show, sold out show, Magji gave him the opportunity to tell his own side of the story. And my guys, the guy spoke, the guy talked. And uh, what this guy said is kind of a little bit not convincing in my own part and also sound so horrible and I sound like someone who is dealing with mafia. Even MacG, even MacG was kind of surprised, asking him if this is a landlord that he's describing or if this is a mafia. And in reply, he said, welcome to Cape Town. So during the interview, he made it known to MacG that he has lived in the same apartment for four plus years. And uh, during those years, he has paid his rent in full and uh, he has spent millions of rents in rent living in that neighborhood. And also say that, that someone tried to defraud him of 300,000 rents and he uh, it, since they couldn't do it, lawyers we are in, law, since they couldn't do it, lawyers became involved and uh, that's when the threat the death threat and uh, people breaking into their apartment started uh, happening and also he said that they disguised themselves as lawyers and broke into his apartment, took different pictures and sent it to the media house and that was the picture that was trending and uh, a lot of things happened, I'll just let you hear from the horse's smart and see for yourself what he said and uh, guys, before I play this video, can you please like the video? If this is your first time coming across my channel, hit the subscribe button. And uh, after listening to this, let me know down below in the comment section if you agree with what he is saying. Uh, is it so convincing? Do you believe his side of the story? Or do you think that he is dead broke and is not able to pay for his rent? Let me know down below in the comment section as you watch this video. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. If you Joe, say so. so. So the current situation that you're in, what happened with that? All right. So um, I've been in this place for three plus years, maybe four plus years. No, four plus years. Um, it, it got to a point where um, we were planning to move out. This person or individual uh, and the people that they work with decided that they were going to try and defraud us of 300,000 rands, thereabouts. Mm -hmm. I said, no mas. So we started talking through lawyers. Um, they filed court paperwork. Then things got ugly and violent. Um, they tried to switch off our electricity there. They broke into our house to break the geezer. They sent goons to do that. They uh, came to try and assault me. They ended up assaulting my wife. I have the video. I could play it for Whoa. you. I have the video. Then they sent gunmen after me. Whoa. Shit. And, and my wife. Real? And my wife. And then the pictures that you guys saw in the paper, you must remember, when the story first broke, there was a picture of my four-year-old daughter who's here with, uh, with my lovely wife. I don't know where they are. She's here in the audience. Nairobi, are you here? There's a viewing place here. Yeah, there we go. She's yeah. here. They took this woman. They sent somebody to my house uh, the day that they sent the sheriff, right? Um, and the lady came into my house not allowed to be in the house, impersonated an attorney and took pictures mm. and then sent it to the press. So you can see that the game is, they, the way they're, they're playing this game, they, they have no faith in the court system or the legal system. They're just guys or people who like to work, you know, in the underground. So I've been dealing with that. It's a personal matter. I've been trying to deal with it privately. Um, and we currently have about five court cases. There's two or three civil cases. There's one or two uh, 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 criminal cases as well. And then we managed to get a protection order uh, against them like two weeks ago. So this is very deep. It's highly involved. It's not as light as I'm making it seem. Mm. Um, but it was a tactic on their part out of desperation, you know. Bro, so you're I've beaten them in court like two, twice already. But like I said, I've given these people millions of rands. So I don't understand like what the issue is. But that's what it's gotten to. So Bro, I, you're talking about a landlord. It sounds like you're talking about the mafia or something. Yeah, right? man. Welcome to Cape Town. Okay, guys, welcome back. I believe you've seen the video. So let me know down below in the comment section. Are you convinced that Fat Joe is telling the truth? Or do you think that this is just him telling lies and trying to save face? Let me know down below. And also, the funniest thing about this whole podcast is that after the show ended, he was interviewed and in his own statement, he said that the show sucked and uh, it was a horrible experience for him. But that Magji has a lot to learn. Guys, I don't know what is wrong with this guy. If it's a joke or I don't know. Just watch the video and then when we come back, we'll conclude. I would like to know how did you feel about today's show? 
I thought it sucked. I thought it was horrible. I think uh, Mac G and them are a bunch of amateurs. Fuck they, have, they have a lot to learn. Um, but you know what? You know, sometimes you have to go through a horrible experience to learn. And I think that in time, he'll get better. Yeah. In time, you'll yeah. get better, Mac G. So you better take notes. The nice thing is he doesn't give up. He comes back again and again and again. You know, it's like a boxer who kept, keeps getting knocked down and then he gets up again. So that's cool. He'll learn. Eventually, he'll, learn, he'll know how to fight. So this is our first ever sold out show, right? Okay. And what were your expectations and did they get exceeded? The audience was amazing, the crowd, the energy, phenomenal. I think that uh, you couldn't have asked for a better situation. Uh, beautiful lady coming by, beautiful lady, beautiful lady. <laughs> I think you might want to put the camera on the beautiful lady because now people are wondering, how beautiful oh, is she? <laughs> how beautiful is she? How That's could, Ghost Lady's twin. How beautiful twin. could she be? It's huh? Ghost Lady's twin. Oh. Okay, yeah, so... Okay, guys, you can watch the full video on Mac G's YouTube channel. I'll be posting the link down below in the description box. So go there and watch the full interview. And also, let me know down below, do you think that the show was horrible? Do you think that the question Mac G asking was horrible? Or do you think that this is him just trying to save face? Let me know down below and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.